I'm Christine from the Locker Group and welcome to another great roundup. We're celebrating in October delicious pizza recipes and I want to give you some inspiration to turn this high carb recipe into low carb and I got here different varieties or strategies how to recreate this high carb into something low carb or even though not only low carb I got some gluten free I got some vegan versions so let's hop right in <laughs> make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't so and give this video a thumb up One is the tuna crust. It's an oldie but in goldie. I <laughs> I hope you like tuna. I do like it. That's why I tried it. And the key that the tuna holds is you have to press out all those juices. Like when you're making a cauliflower crust or like a broccoli crust, <laughs> uh, you need to squish out all the juices to get rid of those liquids. That is not like a powdery. <laughs> fish but it's more like a drier fish and the key that it holds together is you, ha you need eggs and you need cheese like shredded cheese is always great because if you're going with a ch block cheese you need to cut it up you know that <laughs> everything melts very well and uh, get gets combined very well that you don't have those um, holes and it's sad if you're <laughs> baking a pizza with and the tomato sauce drops through if you're having friends over or want to surprise some friends or just uh, don't want to have a big pizza for work you can create those delicious mini pizza bites which are made out of cauliflower and like my friend before the tuna crust you have to squish out those juices out of the cauliflower also if you're going with spinach or other versions you always have to squish it out if you don't do it that very well your <laughs> crust gets kind of soggy but it's still delicious but you can't take it on the hand you have to eat it on the plate um, but I'm more a hand pizza girl who just enjoy it like this you know like the barbarians eat their delicious pizza I don't know why but this is one of my favorite recipes you know I love in general salami um, but since I'm for the last two years going extremely vegan and uh, vegetarian um, I prefer this pizza because it's the ketogenic um, I love spinach on my pizza I don't know why I do really 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 like it so much the dough is a typical fat hat dough you get the full recipe in that video it's super easy to make and of course it's a very delicious and crunchy crust and to top it you know you need always the great passata and top it with some spinach I would not go here with fresh leaves I always cook my spinach or just go here with frozen ones and it will get cooked in the oven <laughs> but if you're going with fresh uh, leaf <laughs> with fresh spinach I think it's like burning paper <laughs> in the oven <laughs> okay this one is a <laughs> recipe which I, I had only those two ingredients and I just said okay let's try a pizza because I want to have a pizza now and it's more like an omelette but it's super delicious and when you're hungry and when you're craving for pizza why not go with this recipe it's just only egg and it's cheese and it's baked in the shape of a pizza crust and then it's going to be topped with delicious ingredients for a perfect pizza <laughs> so why not you don't always have to go in with a fathead dough or you have you don't have to go with a typical cauliflower crust because all those things take a little bit more time and this is a super fast one it's just only two ingredients so 
why not give it a try? If you want to, if you want to try something new, then try the pizza ring. The pizza ring is something amazing. It's a super crunchy pizza ring recipe. It's a fun recipe when you're having friends over or you're having um, movie night. <laughs> then you cut those pieces, this ring into smaller pieces and you can dip it in delicious passata sauce. Why not? So give it a try. You know, sometimes when I'm meal prepping uh, uh, <laughs> and when we're coming home from work, we're both hungry, my hubby and I. And there's something great, you know, you can meal prep mini pizza bites for the week, you know. Especially when we're coming home, we're jumping in front of our fridge <laughs> and just have those mini bites. Sometimes it's those mini pizza bites, sometimes it's something else. But this is a super delicious, um, recipe to meal prep it for the week or just have bring it over to a party or just um, to a family feast. I know every French would eat me for this but this one is a delicious French tarte flambe which I call the French pizza. It's you know I'm from originally from Stuttgart which is not far away from Munich from here and which is next almost next to the French border and they are well known for their tarte flambe uh, which is super delicious. It's just like a pizza uh, topped with some sour cream, some onions and some bacon. Sounds delicious? It is. You need to give it a try. <laughs> this recipe is super delicious and if you, some, if you want to surprise your friends or your beloved ones with something European, <laughs> then give this recipe a try. If you're fed up with cauliflower, give this recipe a try. This time I went here with spinach. I did not, I just used those rests because we had the night before some spinach with eggs that's simply it and I just thought okay let's let's go here with the rest of the spinach add some eggs add some cheese and recreate a pizza out of it a pizza dough and it went very well <laughs> so after pre-baking that dough you can add your toppings and bake it again and then you have a delicious spinachy pizza so my friends I hope you enjoyed this beautiful collection of pizza recipes which we celebrate in October for the National Pizza Food Day. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumb up. Thank you very much. See you next Saturday, same time, same place. Thank you for watching.